In this practical, we shall be using the autopsy program, which is a free open source software for doing file for for, for doing file analysis. Uh, autopsy is the GUI version of of the command line based sleuth kit. When I start autopsy, I'm having it gives me option to create a new case, open a recent case, and open an, an existing case. When I click on create a new case. It asks me to enter a case name. Let us let us say I'm giving it a case name as demo. Uh, and I'm specifying it to be stored in my cases folder. When I click next, I'll get a case number it is two zero one five zero five one seven dash a zero one. Examiner will be the examiner name. Finish. When you click on finish, you need to select the source type to add. If you have a pre-created image file, you will select image file. Else, you can select the local disk and create an image of your local disk. Do keep in mind, if you are running autopsy on a system like Windows 7 or Windows 8, which is having user account control enabled, you will need to start autopsy by right-clicking on the shortcut and doing a run as administrator. If you do not run the software as administrator it will not allow it allow the software will not be allowed to access the local disk currently i'm having an image file and my image file is named as precious.img the time zone is good if for example this image file was created in some other time zone and you want that that area time zone and a date stamp timestamp to match accordingly with your area so if i had uh, created this image in a place like uh, like Karachi or Kabul, I would accordingly I would select the time zone over here and then click on next. The ingest models are a different processes that will uh, that can take place on the uh, forensic image. If it, I can see the recent activity, I can do a hash lookup. It can even do a keyword search. When I'm looking at keyword search, I can create my own keyword list by going into advanced. Uh, creating selecting new list and giving let's say I'm giving it a name as Lionel list when I create my keyword list I need to specify the keywords to be used for example let's say I'm giving Frodo and backend because this image is having a lot of Lord of Rings based data in that so in the keyword list I'll make sure that my list is selected if process unallocated space is tick mark what the system will do is the uh, autopsy will then go through the free space and try to find a red file that have been deleted or try to find remnants of file in that free space when i click next and finally when i click on finish the file will start being analyzed the time for the analysis to take place will vary depending upon the size of the image as well as the number of ingest modules which will be run over there. So I'll let the uh, processing take place and I'll get back once the processing has been completed. So the entire analysis has been completed and if you see left hand side, left hand side is an entire pane of offering a wealth of information. If I expand the data sources, I can see the entire breakup of the precious image where I can see the f entire folder structure. And let's say I can go on desktop. I can see different, I can see that there are different, different files on desktop. I can say that this I can see in the hexadecimal format, I can see in strings format, I can see metadata. For example, this trillion dot link is is a link to the trillion program which is then the program files where Windows has been installed on the D drive. If I go into something that is having images like for example my documents and my pictures, I can view the images in the preview below. Anytime I find something of interest which I want to come back later, I can bookmark it. In autopsy, I need to right click on the file and select the tag file option. And I can select quick tag and select bookmark or I can create a new tag and add a comment as well. So I'm creating a bookmark here. 
if I go into views views give me different sort of views about my data I can view it the results on the basis of file types images video I can even try playing the video and seeing what is there in it I can view it document wise I can view it executable file type wise I can even view it on the basis of recency the recent file section will show me the file that have been modified in the previous uh, previous seven days before this image was taken if I go and delete it file deleted file will show me a different sort of file which have been deleted results will show me the extracted content depending upon the ingest model that have been selected device attached will show me a different device that, that were attached to the system for example I can see that there was a transient pen drive connected on the 18th of December 2004 I can see there was some sand disk pen drive also connected and an HP printer also was connected encryption detector will show me the file that are having encrypted content I can see that the program which program were installed on the system so uh, people can ask you query like tell me what is the most recently installed program which I will then need to go and sort it by date time and after sorting it by date time I can see that the recent thing was Microsoft Office Outlook and an XP hotfix update which was uh, somewhere around the 6th of January 2005 I can view even operating system information like I can see that the system name was Frodo1 I can see that it had Windows XP Servers Pack 2 and Windows was present in the D drive and during the installation of the Windows the owner name was given as ADXP I can see that there were these so many different accounts over there user accounts I can see the different documents which were uh, the links are to documents which are there in the recent documents list I can also see that this machine was connected to a remote network share called the Precious which was on Quarren's laptop and this was mapped as the Z drive in my computer I can view the various bookmarks this person has taken I can even view the history of what different websites he has visited over there and I can even see the different searches he has made. I can see that he has done a search for computer forensics using google.com through the Internet Explorer web browser. If you go down more the keyword hits, you will see the list which I just now created. I have mentioned I had created a list line list that having two keywords that is Baggins and Frodo. If I click on Baggins, these are different different uh, files containing the word bagin uh, for containing the word bagin or they are files having bagin in the file name and the same thing will apply for Frodo if I expand the email messages the email message will show me the different email messages the system has found on itself so I can see that uh, there is an inbox from Frodo back at comcast.net to the dams which is an entire email listing over here so I can browse, I can search the email, I can even right click on top of the email and I can do a tag result and select bookmark. What are tags I'm creating will come under the tag folder. I can see the bookmarks uh, either file based or result tags. When I'm doing file based, file based will directly link directly to the file. But when I'm using result, if I'm searching maybe a file that file may be in the inbox the result will show me that email message whereas if I done a file tagging it will show me the uh, email file containing that email message if I want to add more data sources I can select the add data source option again if I want to generate a report I need to click on the generate report option over here and I can generate maybe like an HTML report I can have this report to have all of my results if I don't want everything I can untick options over here and accordingly those will the ticked options will be displayed in my results 
I can also choose that I want to display only the tag results in my report. When I click on finish, it will start creating the report. If I click on the report link, it will open the report in the web browser. And I can I can again scroll the same way and I can see the different different results over here. If I want to do a live search, I can click on keyword search and search for something like ball. So I know that these different files have some sort of reference to the word as have ball in the file over there. If I go to file menu, I can close the case. If I click on case properties, I can change the property like I can change the name of the case and update it and this is how you use autopsy for analyzing your forensic image